So this is a short video to show you how to open Landsat files in Envy. So any recent files that you download from the USGS Global Service actually have a changed format in their metadata file. That means that Envy Classic or Envy versions before 5 Service Pack 3 won't actually open these files directly. So I'm going to have to use the new Envy 5 with the Service Pack 3 just to be able to open these files. I'm not a fan of this of the GUI on MV5 and the functionality and usability is nowhere near as good as Classic so we'll go back to Classic to further process the data. So if I was to try to open the, the Landsat metadata file um, as I would normally in NV Classic, I'd just go straight through to Landsat GeoTIFF with metadata and select the Landsat file that I'm interested in and this is the error that I receive. So what I've done instead is I've, I've opened up the MV5 GUI and I'm going to go over to File and Open As and find my way down to Landsat and GeoTIFF with metadata here instead. Okay, and when I select that I, I, I've got two Landsat files here so I'll just open that same one again there and go to Open and that'll just take a moment to load but it will be able to open that directly and you see that it opens straight away. So up here I've got the zoom to full extent tool, so I'll just broaden that out so you can see the full image there. So as you can see it's quite simple to open that file. And then what I would do if I was going to leave that file as it was, I would just um, export that straight away. But what I, what I really would like to do is to do some radiometric calibration which requires the information that's contained within that metadata file that's not being opened by MV Classic. So if you have a look over here, I've got a number of tools in my toolbox and directly under the radiometric correction folder, if I expand that and scroll down, I've got the radiometric calibration tool. So I'm just going to double click on that to open it up and you'll see that this is a Landsat 8 image so it's been separated out into the multispectral th thermal and panchromatic different images. But I'm just going to work on the multispectral image and if I click OK there, this will bring up the radiometric calibration tool that's available in NV, in NV Classic, but because it requires you to read that metadata file, it's not working anymore. So say I want to calibrate to radiance, I can leave that as is, or I could calibrate directly to at sensor reflectance as well. So I just click on at sensor reflectance, and then just as with NV Classic, I choose my file, select out, and then determine where that was going to go um, for my output there, which I've, I've already got the file that I've previously created. So once I was ready with that, then I'd just click OK and then run with it. Now, what, what I would now actually do is to go back to MV Classic for any further processing. So I, could, I can kill off MV5, and as you can see, I've already opened MV Classic, but it's not actually intuitive where to get that from. So if you go down to down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and on your Windows area, um, and I assume there's something similar for Mac, but I haven't quite looked into it yet. And under all programs, you should have a folder for NV5. And if you expand that out and then go to tools, you'll see that you've got the options for MV Classic and, and MV Classic Plus IDL. And you can always create a shortcut for that to put onto your desktop, for example. Um, so I've just right clicked there and I can go to pin to, start, to taskbar, pin to the, to the start menu or I could go to copy and then paste that directly on my desktop so it's easy to access further down the road.